It's time to gear up for ODI World Cup 2023 as India will soon announce the squad and we are here with the preview. Now, Soumya, tell me how excited are you for this squad announcement? No, of course, we, are, we, we all are very excited. You know, it's uh, 12 years uh, down the line. We are back in India with the World Cup and yeah. I, just, I just hope uh, they make up, uh, you know, a good squad, a balanced one. Uh, the squad is going to be around the uh, Asia Cup squad, yeah. of course, as we had talked about earlier, as Ajit Agarkar had Absolutely. told about, he told about, about it earlier. earlier. So, it's going to be around that, but it would be very interesting to see who are the 15 players now who are yeah. going to get into the squad because uh, they took a 17-member squad for Asia Cup and Sanju Samson was a reserve, uh, the 18th player, if we can <laughs> call him that way. So, it would be very interesting to see who makes it to the 15-member squad. Absolutely. Now, let's have a look at our provisional squad because we have set a squad. So, we'll have a look at our provisional squad. We obviously have Rohit Sharma out there, then Hardik Panda, Shubman Gill, of course, Virat Kohli. Now, two key names here, Shreyas Ayer and KL yeah. Rahul. Yeah. I want to know from you, um, what's the status about KL Rahul? Because we heard a few days back, yeah. he got a niggle, he missed out two matches of the Asia Cup, which were pretty evident. Yeah. Rahul Dravid told about uh, his fitness yeah. status. But as of now, nobody knows about yeah. uh, KL Rahul, right? Yeah. So, we want to know that how important uh, will be his inclusion in the score? No, it's going to be very, very important, you know, as he's, he's going to be your wicketkeeper batter. You, of course, need a second keeper yeah. uh, there. But uh, talking about his, uh, talking about the condition, his uh, fitness, uh, he missed out the first two games in the Asia Cup due to a niggle, which was, uh, I guess, uh, you know, it was a, uh, it was just a decision to, to keep him safe and secure yeah. for the World Cup. Uh, but he is going to be there in your squad. That is what my take on on this uh, team is. Uh, and Ishan Kishan is going to be a second wicket, uh, a wicket keeper batter. Yeah. And talking about him, talking about KL Rahul, uh, we just hope he comes back and he comes back uh, in form because you don't really have a lot of ODI yeah. matches coming up. So there are two things to it. First, he's fit. Second, he's in the form. Yeah. And but he will make it to the to the squad for the. I World think Cup. that's yeah. pretty much yeah. evident with KL Rahul. Also, uh, if we talk about Shreyas Ayer, yeah. we saw a glimpse of his batting in the first match against Pakistan in yeah. Asia Cup. We haven't seen him much, but it'll be quite exciting to yeah. see him in World Cup. But over there, we also have uh, players like Sanju Samson. Yeah. And uh, there's been a debate whether to include Sanju Samson or not to include, whether to include Surya Kumar Yadav or not to include Surya Kumar Yadav. Now, going by exact numbers, I don't think so that Surya Kumar Yadav has done well in ODI format. Yeah. Obviously, there is no question about his talent in T20 format, yeah. but uh, in ODIs, I don't think so. He has done pretty well. What are your thoughts? Sanju Samson Look, or Surya Kumar? Uh, I am not really a very, very big fan of these two in ODI cricket, but mm. if you talk to me about the difference between, like, to, to opt between two, I would rather go for a Sanju Samson. Simple reason, he's done better than Surya Kumar Yadav in this format, uh, relatively. Yeah. Plus, he's also a, a wicketkeeper batter. Yeah. So, you know, that gives you an, a third option as a wicket. Of course, you're playing in India. You, God forbid, if there is an injury concern, you yeah. can make that replacement. But, you know, you having a wicketkeeper batter in your squad, a third one, will be a better choice. And looking at Surya Kumar Yadav's ODI career, I am not really sure he should be there in this format. Um, he's a brilliant, as you said, uh, T20 batter. But again, yeah. you know, ODI is a totally different ball Absolutely. game. You need a different kind of a temperament. Yeah. Temperamental issues has been with Sanju Samson as well. But he adds, he, he brings one thing to the table mm. and that is the wicket-keeping skill. So, you can have a third wicket-keeping a keeping option in that squad. Yeah. So, I guess I would rather go with the Sanju Samson mm. if there is a debate. But as far as the team management is concerned and looking at the Asia Cup squad because yeah. Surya Kumar Yadav is in the squad. Uh, Sanju Sam Samson Sam is a reserve one. Absolutely. So, I suppose uh, Surya Kumar Yadav is going to get through, you know, going to get to that bus. Yeah, it looks like also uh, the recent reports that we saw, they suggested that Sanju Samson will not be there in the squad. Yeah. Although at that time as well, I told everyone that uh, there wasn't any official announcement on the same. Yeah. But we are expecting an official announcement yeah. and we will get the whole squad. So obviously, we'll get to know whether Sanju Samson will be in the squad or not. But if we talk about other players, there's another name that comes to my mind and this name is Shardul Thakur. Everybody keeps on talking about this name, especially when he was included in playing 11 in the the match against yeah. Pakistan in Asia yeah. Cup ahead of someone like Mohammad Shami yeah. and I think that was solely because he can bat and yeah. he can bowl and going by that do you think he will be there and I think everyone's saying that he will be there but how important will he be there no, in he sport? will be there but I would just like to correct you there uh, it wasn't about it wasn't a toss-up between Shami and Shardul yeah. it was a toss-up between Aksar and Shardul yeah. 
yeah. you know and uh, in that pakistan game that was a you know that was overcast condition so probably mm. india went with a seamer and it is going to be the situation yeah. uh, it going it is going to be a toss up between aksar patel and shardul thakur throughout the, the tournament the day, in the 11 it's all about yeah. you know all the permutation and combination and, and, and the conditions that you set absolutely yeah. and uh, in all those matches you know where you need yeah. to have that pacer you bring in uh, shami obviously yeah. there is no question about shami but then as uh, somya said there is always the opportunity and the possibility of bringing in somebody like shardul thakur or aksar patel yeah. and then obviously you can actually bench your pacer it all depends on the conditions but here the big question is who all will be there in the squad so let's have a look obviously we have just be bumra there yeah. shami kuldeep yadav and aksar patel ishan kishan and then we were talking about yeah. surya kumar yadav and also siraj yeah and then siraj uh, but when i'm talking about uh, all these players in the indian squad yeah. uh, somya one thing that comes to my mind is the batting position of ishan kishan the way he played against pakistan it was really well the big question was will uh, ishan kishan play in place of kl rahul or not so just a bit of uh, thing on that no, looking at his uh, performance against pakistan i would rather have him in the 11 and you know it's again it's a toss up between the two yeah. but uh, i am i'm more fond of a left handed uh, uh, batter in the middle order yeah. so i would rather go with him and he's he is aggressive yeah. in a, in his batting and he can play that uh, you know uh, role where you need to you need someone to be there in the in the yeah. on the crease so for some time and he can he can accelerate so mm. he can uh, build the partnerships i will have him and also kl rahul is coming off uh, mm. you know from a la uh, injury, injury layoff i am yeah. I'm not saying he he's not going to be in form or something, but again, you you know you need to safeguard that that yeah, kind of a player true. who's just coming into into the side because he's he's all important. You yeah. know, we can't really uh, you know can't you can't shy away from saying that he is an important member. He has Absolutely. been an important member of mm -hmm. this Indian uh, squad and specifically in ODI cricket. And you know his absence has also been a cause of concern. We have realized it later probably, yeah. but th that has been a cause of concern for all of all the management yeah. and and team India. So he is an important player but i would initially go with ishan kishan considering mm. his uh, the kind of form he is you know and and i would give him for that kind of a knock you know i would rather back him f uh, to play uh, for playing that knock and uh, give him that game time in the world cup as well absolutely so we are pretty excited for world cup squad announcement from a uh, team india i am side. i am more concerned i am not really concerned about the batting order still you know you have uh, injury uh, concerns but i am not really concerned i am concerned of the bowling combination the mm. fast bowling combination Who Yeah. do you bench i mean you know siraj bumrah and shami we our experts have talked about it we have yeah. talked about it you who whom are you going to bench yeah. and that's going to be a very very big question absolutely but uh, when we're talking about squad we have to look at the best options available with team india and the best cricketers available because it's the mega tournament you know all the countries come up with their bests and here team india will be up with their best options at the world cup team announcement now when we're talking about team india as a squad let's also keep that in mind that uh, this squad announcement will take place at 1:30 pm on yeah. September 5 you stay tuned with us for all the latest updates we'll be joining you live for the squad announcement and also we'll be keeping you updated with all the updates there as we discussed in this preview show as well that there are highly likely chances that Sanju Samson won't get a place in the squad but it is yet to be seen who knows you know till the end of the squad announcement we won't be Upon uh, KL Rahul's fitness, we Absolutely. don't really know what the fitness uh, status is. It, a lot depends upon that. Also. Absolutely, it all depends upon the latest updates that the team has, and they will be giving all those updates to us. And uh, I think the countdown has begun. We are all geared up. You should also gear up for the World Cup uh, team announcement of Team India. So let's cheer up for Team India. And uh, till then, you stay tuned to Cricket Next because we will be there with you with all the live updates. Oh, 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 oh,